Hey, what's up guys? Al27HD here, bringing you another Let's Talk About. Um, basically, I wanted to bring this to you today to answer some questions I've been asked a lot. How I made my coins, and also why silver and bronze as opposed to playing gold. A lot of people have said, oh Christ, you could have a great gold team with your coins. Well, this would hopefully answer a few questions. As always, I've stuck some gameplay in the background. Check it out, don't check it out, minimise it, listen, um, if that's what you want to do. Right, let's get cracking. How I made my coins. I always start off ultimate team, throw some money at it initially. Um, so in the first week, probably threw about 50 quid at it, something like that. Uh, that allows me to A, get decent discards from the packs. I'm never a collector of all the players. I basically will discard most from a pack. Even early on, it does generate more coins. And I'm not that fussed about having 73, 75 rated gold players in my team. Uh, obviously not 73. Um, in addition to that, I had a lot of luck with the packs early on. I was pulling Thiago Silva three or four times in the first month. I've pulled Ronaldo, I've pulled um, Informed Danilinho, I've pulled Informed Bale, I pulled uh, second Informed Walcott, um, Informed Thiago Silva. So as you can see I have had luck with packs and that has resulted in me getting enough coins to do some damage during Team of the Year. During Team of the Year, I invested in an Alves and a Vidic. I paid rock bottom prices the day they came out, remember when just the Defenders were released? And I basically sold them for top dollar. I made approximately 500 to 600k on each. So there's 1.2 million straight away. Um, so there you go, mainly pack luck. Uh, some good trading with Team of the Year and a little bit of uh, money out my back pocket to start with so that people is how I made my coins um, moving on to silvers why do I play silver and bronze as opposed to gold I had a very good gold team I've had a few very good gold teams I do believe in the handicap I think there is a handicap at play um, especially when you're playing against top gold teams versus lower teams I found that my super duper gold team with Inform, Ribéry, Ronaldo, Messi all of those were getting owned regularly by much poorer teams um, so I believe there is a handicap at play definitely in addition to that I always find that I run up against sweaty horrible nasty gold teams with a bomb the whore and you know Lennon, Young just pace whore teams that you know they don't have anything else to them uh, when I come across classy gold teams I really enjoy playing against them but I do hate up coming up against the usual sweaty tramp pass across the ball the face of the gold you know that sort of thing I find that you don't get that as much with silver and bronze the silver and bronze players tend to build what I would say classier teams is the wrong word but teams which are more constructed for passing the ball around and actually playing the beautiful game rather than just bomb down the wing chip it over the top pass it across the box and boom you've got a goal so I play silvers mainly I also love playing bronze um, bronzes are so much fun you have a really classy bronze team you come up against good opposition, it's really fast, free-flowing football. Because they haven't got usually five-star skills, that sort of thing, you get really gritty, tough, drawn-out matches, the kind of stuff you see on, you know, Championship, Empower Champions League football on a Saturday night. So that's why I picked them, and I don't pick goals. I've dabbled in goals, I've got four goal players in the team at the moment, but it tends to be players I like as opposed to players that will work well in a full gold team so I tend to drop them in like a BPL silvers team make a little bit of a gold silver hybrid so there you go guys just my thoughts I know a lot of you play gold so I also know a lot of you appreciate the finer silver and bronze players and teams so there you go as always please like sub comment I'm getting cracking cracking feedback from you guys and every single click of the like button every single comment every single bit of feedback be it constructive or non is appreciated and i understand you all have your own opinions so leave them in the comments box and we'll have a chat take care guys catch you later